Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a really simple video for you guys showing you how to draw handwritten text onto your YouTube videos. This is actually by popular demand so I really hope you like it. So guys, the first thing you'll need as part of this video is an iPad and also if possible an Apple Pencil as well. You'll also need the app Procreate which is our first step in this process. So if we fire up Procreate, all I'm going to do is just start with setting up a new canvas. And I'm going to set it up to a 4K spec. So if your videos are in 4K, that's quite an important selection. Now just go down to the colors and remember to select a true black here. So really check and make sure it's a true black and then drag it onto the canvas to basically make your canvas completely black. Then you want to select your writing tool. Now within here, there's lots of different options. I usually just go into inking and select one of the inking options. So I usually select the studio pen because I just like the way it looks. And then once you've done that, just remember to select white as your color and just double check that it is true white. So once you've done that, I usually just draw a line just to check the thickness and the weight and the pressure of how the line is coming out. And once you've got something you're happy with, then you're going to be able to start drawing your text. So let's just start by writing something simple here. I'm not going to take you guys all the way through this. I'm going to skip this. You know how to write. You'll already have your sentences in mind. So we'll just fast forward this aspect. The one thing I would say here is just make sure your pressure is pretty thick. You don't want your lines to be too thin. Otherwise, they won't show up when you add them to your video. So guys, let's just do another quick example here just to make sure we're all on the same page. So I'm just going to select white on the studio pen here again, and I'm just going to do some more writing here. The one thing I'd say is to make sure your writing is pretty fluid. What you don't want to be doing is making too many mistakes or going back because what you're doing here is recording a video. So if you make mistakes and go back, if that's part of your video, that's fine. But if you want a really clean look, then you just want to make sure that you're writing in a really fluid way. Otherwise, what you'll have to do is go back and edit your video and cut out all of the mistakes later, which is just going to save you a lot of time if you don't make those mistakes in the first place. Let's just add a couple of arrows here on this one as well, just because that's probably something you're going to be wanting to do as part of your videos. OK, guys, so once you've done that, you're going to want to go up to the spanner, which is basically your actions. And once you've selected video, go down to export time lapse video. So just go ahead and select full length as you export it. Once you've done that, just airdrop it to your Mac. And then I'm going to show you how to cut this together in Adobe Premiere. So guys, now that we've moved over to the Mac, I've just fired up Premiere Pro here. And whilst I use Adobe Premiere, you can use pretty much any video editing software to do this, provided it's got a similar capability. So I've just gone ahead and dragged in a clip here. And the one thing to say is make sure you always start with the video clip itself because generally speaking the video clip will dictate the quality and the format of your video. So if you start with a screen grab or a screen recording actually that's going to set the tone for the quality of your video so you'd have to go into the settings to manually change that back to a higher quality. So I always make sure I start with the video itself. So once you've done that I'm just going to duplicate this video a couple of times so we've got it on a reel so I've just got four video clips here that we can then use. Then what I'm going to do is just find the video recording that I took on Procreate earlier and airdrop to the Mac. Now as you can see when you bring this in it's not quite in the right format. You've got a black outline, you've got some text and also as part of the video there's a segment at the beginning which basically we're going to need to have to cut out. So I'm just going to move it here and make sure it's right at the point where we can cut out that beginning bit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and crop it. And basically what that leaves us with is the end bit of the video, which is the bit you want. Now I'm just going to move that to the left hand side. And then what we'll need to do is scale this video up. So what you need to do is right click on the video and then scale to frame size. Now it's basically the same size as the video. And because we already did this in 4K on Procreate, it's going to be a really good quality when we overlay it onto our 4K video clip as well. Now comes the blending bit. 
So in the effects control, basically just click on the effects panel at the top of the screen. And then over on the left hand side here, you'll have a bunch of options. What we're interested in is where it says opacity and blend mode. So click on blend mode and you'll see a bunch of different options. Now I'd recommend you guys have a play around with these in your own time so you can see what they do. But really the one I want to bring your focus to is the screen one. So if we go ahead and click on screen mode, basically what you'll see is it's just done the work for us. It's completely cut out all of the black background, a bit like a green screen. It's just left us with this really nice cropped text. So let's just go ahead and play that forward. And as you can see, this is just happening a bit quickly. The writing feels a bit too fast for the video. So I'm just gonna go and right click on the video clip now, and I'm gonna select speed and duration. And we're just gonna set it to half speed. So let's just play that back and see what it looks like. So as you can see now, the text is being written at a slightly slower rate. It just looks a bit more normal and natural. So that was quite an important step. Let's just do another example of that for you guys quickly. So I'm just going to bring in another video here. Again, I'm just going to start by cropping the video. Let's set the speed this time first. So I'm going to set that to half speed because we know that's probably a better writing speed. And then we're going to set the blend mode to screen mode. So it's cut out the blend mode. And then again, I'm doing this one in a slightly different order, but we can scale to frame size to bring that back up. So if we just move that across, and go ahead and play it, you can see what this one looks like. Actually, the speed on this one was still a bit too quick, so I'm gonna set that to about 25% speed. Let's just play that back to see what that looks like. And that looks about right to me. So let's just drag in our final clip here, just to show you guys a third example, just to make sure you've got it. Let's go ahead and make sure we crop out the first bit of this video first. So let's drag that across like that. Let's set the frame size this time first. So we've done that. And then we can go into blend mode again. Again, click on screen. And let's just change the speed of this as well. So let's set this one to about 60%. So guys, the other thing I just wanted to show you quickly is what we did at the beginning in this video. So I'm just gonna delete the underlying video clip from this just to show you a slightly cleaner look and how you can basically write like it looks on a blackboard. So as you can see, if we actually just remove the bottom video clip here, we're just faced with a really nice black backdrop. And what that means is we can then just write the text over the top and it just looks really nice and clean. So guys, the other thing I just wanted to point out, which might be a useful tip, is if you're doing these Procreate videos, sometimes towards the end, it tends to end the video clip really quickly. So something I do is zoom in to the very end of the clip, get rid of the final frame of the video, and just give myself a section, which is usually only one to two frames at the end of the video, copy that frame, and then what we do is we go into speed and duration and set that to about one or 2%. We add that onto the end of the video clip. And what it's gonna do is it's just gonna extend the video for a little bit longer. So we're not immediately cutting off that clip too quickly. It just gives it a much more natural feel and it's gonna make your videos just look that much better as well. It's a bit of a faff, it's a bit of an extra step. It will require a little bit of playing around, but once you've got it, trust me, it's gonna look a whole lot better. So guys, that's it for this video. As I said, just a really simple way to draw handwritten notes onto your videos. There's a bunch of other ways you can do this, but for me, this is by far the easiest approach. All it requires is an iPad and a Mac. So guys, thanks again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys again next time.